Profanity's update sexualizing minors ban was long overdue, but the wording caused a lot of confusion and numerous clarifications, questioning how they're still around. Profanity is a furry art website created in 2005 by Alcora as an alternative to other art sites, remaining the largest online furry community despite competition from Twitter. Dragony has been ordered since 2007 after purchasing the site. While it has a dedicated following among furries, it has gradually declined due to numerous controversial staff decisions. Many furries and I can agree don't use FA regularly as Twitter offers a broader range of content. However, FA still serves as a portfolio for furry artists and is a good platform from the browse for a yard due to a lack of competition. Competitors either fail to track enough users or say similar counterparties but without the same public relations support. Cup is a term used for furry characters under 18, specifically young children. On underage porn, including cup porn, the fandom opinion is overwhelmingly negative, but FA didn't ban it. Back in 2006, Dragon Year claimed that under US law, underage furry porn isn't considered pedophilia, but no child is harmed since anthropomorphic animals aren't real. They acknowledge this decision won't be popular, but felt they shouldn't act as moral judges when artistic depictions of murder and drug use are posted with no complaint. This argument is when most consider the first two as objectionable, while drug use would depend on the drug consumed. Even in 2006, defending underage short as a drawing or freedom expression is extremely morally questionable. Years later, a complaint was filed to Alert Play, the payment platform used for donations regarding underage porn. Due to high Alert Pay's terms of service, Dragoneer's account was terminated, losing a significant source of donations, and FA banned underage porn in November 2010. Under content featuring minors, it is now allowed when the minor is in the presence of sexual activity, sexual objects, or nudity, though exceptions may be made for non sexual depictions of birth and breastfeeding. On May 19, they would be expanding on this rule to close loopholes and ensure proper application. The definition of a minor was expanded to include humanoid characters with childlike proportions, including canonically adult characters resembling children like Pokemon or Digimon to eliminate the argument that a child is over 18. They need to be aged up with adult proportion to be allowed in intimate situations. These changes were based on community feedback from a well received. Despite going to effect on July 1st, artists were frustrated by the vague wording, as short characters like kobolds and goblins may have been considered childlike. I faced same day clarification states there wouldn't be a list of banned species. Some point out, Dragon Year has Pokemon art that violate this rule before being deleted. On the 22nd, FA Fur clarifies saying minors and safe work interests such as boring transformation are allowed. While transformation isn't always intimate, frequently seen in children's focused shows, or is more questionable with furries. They also say those under 13 can't be pregnant, bringing up the question of pregnant 14 to 17 year olds. It also gives a list of Pokemon and Digimon and childlike proportions. On the 24th, the last clarification was issued, explaining why 14 to 17 year olds to tell their stories, but never to be fetishized. It changes policy to minors may not be depicted as pregnant. In 2003, a notable incident saw Dragonair feeling excluded from a Pennsylvania furry in their house. They watched from their apartment before ranting out frustrated they weren't invited and believed they were being ignored and would never participate in another event held in the state. However, the event was publicly announced. Dragonair backtracked but were still mad to be referred as next to clinically insane. One made sure not to tell anyone as they didn't want Dragonair there until everyone else left. They claimed their post was sarcastic but their tone seemed to suggest otherwise. In 2008, Dragonair claimed to be a changed person but in 2010 created multiple alternate accounts on the FA forums about now Hargate, Anthrocon, and Pennsylvania furries while praising themselves. They shared Stories of Dragoneer hosting small successful meets. However, on a rainy November at a fall meet, Tiger showed up and wanted to go to a zoo. Half the group blindly followed, angry Dragoneer and never hosting another meet. Forum leaks show Dragoneer and their alternate accounts have the same IP address, leading to backlash. Dragoneer's paranoia and doesn't trust anyone. With previous staff members complaining about an atmosphere of suspicion and distrust. Instead of defending or criticizing Mod in a controversy, they fire them before they create an alternate account to moderate from. In 2014, Dragoneer appointed Sorry Kid as development and operations staff member, bringing more transparency to FA. However, Sorry Kid admitted to being Zydo new, known for hacking and sabotaging projects. Zydo admitted they were hidden admin your prior, and a server purchase with user donations have been unused for a year. Dragonier defended them, deleting negative posts, and even claiming anyway revealing Zydo's alternate account was harassing and doxing. A month later, Zydo publicly resigned. Sex offender Daniel Lamas, known online as Growly, was convicted of intimately harassing a 14-year-old in 2001 in Dragonier's friend. In 2010, an FA user exposed Daniel's criminal behavior, and Daniel begged Dragonier to delete it. However, Dragonier found out Daniel was messaging Myers and soliciting sexually explicit pictures on F.A. Dragonier never reported them to the authorities, but tweeted they had to bend a good friend and express self-hatred. Help admitted to former staff member Chase V. Rock had discussed their interest in intimate animal and underage intercourse and posted their fallacies. They're still a staff member under an alternate account. Dragonier's enforcement of F.A. rules is inconsistent. Two folks on Terra Bank show, but only three consenting couples time to eat about their kinky sex lives. The two folks in their white having intercourse and first use. Dragonier banned two folks as talking about first use sex on television was worse than being a pal. Claiming they sold out priorities for fame. While anger at Tupac showing a more intimate side of the fandom is understandable, banning them is too far. Despite Dragonier lifting the ban, they were banned again in 2010 for walking by them with a shirt saying, I crashed FA twice and all I got was this stupid shirt. Cat face. Seven Grip was unfortunately stalked by Frederick Stam, who doxed them on multiple sites, including FA. They wrote an outside for a story where your character broke into Terrence's house, sold their fur suit, and intimately violated them, even using their real name and address. They made several comments of how easy it was to find where Terrence lived. Terrence had to contact the staff multiple times, only to be ignored. They wrote a journal calling out their 
stalker and warning others. Both leave for harassing their stalker. Dragon Gear pleads with outside your control as the stalker's action were off platform. And that wasn't a good reason to leave FA. In December 2013, Dragon Gear announced Project Phoenix, which would rewrite the site for a fourth time. The team leader would be unfaithful for Yari Josh, who drew cup porn. In 2010, Pride Mentors League accusing Josh of intimately violating morality and emotionally manipulating them. And Dragon Gear responded, telling Morality to stay quiet and was neutral. Dragon Gear later stated Josh could not violate morality because they willingly drove over to Josh's place. In October, Dragon Gear approved Meyer's request to rewrite FA's code, and Meyer organized a small team, but Dragon Gear forgot about it. Meyer's team agreed with me with Project Phoenix's scene, but Josh was so annoying that Meyer and Len left within the first day. Josh insulted Meyer's financial management, allowing updating the site from JavaScript, which would have rendered other parts done in different coding languages useless. Josh lied about their qualifications, claiming to be a PHP pro for 12 years, but was only 30 at the time. Josh also asked condescending questions and replied with incorrect answers. When the update failed, Dragon Gear played Meyer and Ben and said the unprofessional, underqualified Josh. In January 2015, FA was acquired by IMVU, best known for its premium chat app, but wasn't announced until March. Dragon Gear insists it was a positive change after two communities had similarities, despite furries hang IMVU being a low-quality virtual world and IMVU users hang furries. FA users learned that IMVU would have the right to use their item advertisements. After signing the contract, Dragon Gear admitted they needed clarification on that phrase. In October, Dragon Gear ran a fundraising campaign to assist with DDoS protection. After fees, they collected $10,400, but only spent $400, despite IMVU sending $20,000 in hardware. Donation updates stopped, and Dragon Gear claimed it went towards servers and DDoS protection, but didn't add up. Skigo suggested Dragon Gear spent it for a house, as they complained about living in the apartment with friends as early as June 2013, and they moved in October. In early 2016, Skiggles, Dragon Gear's wife, posted a lot of art featuring them and Fire Envy, the BronyCon department head for exhibitor relations, the Skiggles vendor dad. When BronyCon reduced vendor tables, many struggled to get one, but Skiggles got two. Skiggles called Emmy their swish, loaning Dragon Gear to a friend. A few months later, Dragon Gear divorced Skiggles, with Skiggles believing it should have stayed private. Many believe Skiggles dated Dragon Gear for fame. Since FA was owned by IMVU, Dragon Gear could have been fired. Despite this, Dragon Gear allowed Skiggles and Emmy to keep living in their house Dragon Gear's parents owned. There was room to hide in the divorce so they could keep living there. I got kicked out when Dragon Gear's parents sold the house. In 2017, Skiggles was $20,000 in debt as Dragon Gear put out the spirit under Skiggles' name. On January 25th, 2021, IMVU announced a round of funding and reorganization under Together Lab. FA would be divested, and on February 1st, Dragon Gear bought it, but was fired, losing their health insurance, and had to drop their antidepressants and bipolar medication cold turkey. First of all, put them in considerable financial stress. This would cost them more to buy it back than they sold it for. They took out loans and spent every dime they had on FA. Dragon Gear didn't explain how they repaid the loans, and Larry claimed they still had some money, contradicting their earlier statements. Dragon Gear referenced another party interested in acquiring the site and was worried about what could happen. When many FA users praised Dragon Gear's acquisition, others were concerned Dragon Gear took on debt and quit importing medication to do so. If you want to hear more about Blue Fold, a popular furry who was falsely claimed to be a pal by a transphobic Twitter account, all machine shooting threats, check out this video.